Aero tip. Did you know that tyres are actually really important for the aerodynamic performance of your wheels? So on the front wheel, uh, it's actually quite important that the tyre has a certain amount of tread pattern on the upper shoulder area. Now the reason for this is a quite complex aerodynamic mechanism, but we need a certain amount of turbulence here in the airflow that goes around this corner. If we don't have that turbulence, uh, the air won't stay attached to the rim like on the wing of an aeroplane and you lose the sailing effect, which is the thrust that these wheels can produce in side wind. Now, if you don't have this tread to trip the flow into this turbulent state, um, for example, with a slick tire, the flow will detach and the wheel will stall and you'll lose all of the sailing effect. So it's very important, for example, not to have a slick tire on your front wheel. Now, in terms of tire size, uh, frontal area is king. So we always recommend a 23 millimeter tire on the front uh, for the aerodynamic uh, optimization purpose. So on the rear wheel, the tire aerodynamics thankfully don't play a role at all. And the reason for that is the rear wheel is in the shadow of the front of the bike and the rider that sits in front of them. So you can concentrate entirely on rolling resistance when considering which tire to buy. Uh, so for example, here on this bike, we've got a Continental TT, which is a complete slick tire, which wouldn't work on the front aerodynamically, but has a lower rolling resistance. So it's a good choice for the rear. In terms of tire size, we recommend going wider on the rear. Uh, so for example here to a 25 millimeter tire, quite simply because the wider tires deliver lower rolling resistance. So when making your tire choice, remember, so that you get the most out of the aerodynamics of your front wheel, you need to choose a tire that has the sidewall tread in it uh, on the upper sidewall section. We recommend a 23 millimeter tire uh, to maximize the, the aero performance again. And for the rear, you don't have to worry about the aero performance, so you can concentrate simply on the rolling resistance. There we recommend a 25 millimeter tire. So if you're running a tubeless setup on your bike, a good tubeless tire that works well aerodynamically on the front wheel is the Schwalbe Pro 1. Once again, because it's got the right level of tread pattern on this shoulder sidewall area.